Hi, I'm Sage. Welcome back to the Addictive Wellness Channel. Today I'm going to be sharing with you guys about another one of my favorite herbs. This is Tremella mushroom that we're going to be talking about. And this has, is known by a lot of names. It's known as the snow mushroom. Uh, it's known sometimes in China as yin er, which means snow ear mushroom, or shui er, which means the silver ear mushroom, uh, or also known as the white jelly mushroom. Or if you go over to Japan, where it's traditionally being consumed as well, there they call it shiro kikurage. And that means the white jellyfish mushroom. So it's got a lot of beautiful sounding names. And it has some great beauty enhancing effects, which we're going to talk about in a little bit. But first, let's look at where and how it grows, because that's something really interesting with Tremella. So uh, it's found growing in the wild on, uh, in tropical and subtropical regions on broadleaf trees uh, that have fallen over. And the interesting thing is that they didn't understand how it grew for a long time and that made it very hard, almost impossible, to cultivate and, and grow uh, on one's own instead of just happening to find it out in the wild. And here's why. It doesn't actually live off that dead tree. It is a form of a parasitic fungi. So you have this other fungi called Anulo hypoxylon archeri, which grows on the broadleaf tree and then Tremella grows on that other mushroom. So it's kind of like multiple steps of this operation here. And so Tremella just growing on the tree itself doesn't do very well. It just kind of stays like kind of flat and doesn't really bloom and blossom in a sense as you see it with this beautiful fruiting body that it has when you see pictures of it. Uh, so it's very unique and fascinating in that sense. And then in terms of geography, it grows in a lot of subtropical and tropical uh, climates around the world, from Asia to North America, uh, Central America, South America, the Caribbean, Sub-Saharan Africa, Australia, New Zealand, and even on some Pacific islands. So it's all over the place. Uh, now. I told you I would tell you about the beauty benefits, and I don't want to keep you waiting any longer because I know a lot of you are really fascinated by that kind of stuff. So, this is supporting healthy hyaluronic acid levels, and that is a big one because hyaluronic acid is like nature's moisturizer. It's great for the, the moisture and elasticity of the skin, and it, it has a huge effect in determining your skin's ability to hold water. And, th and this is holding water in a very good sense because it allows your skin to naturally stay moisturized, which is great. Um, and it's legendary for this in China, right? So there was uh, a, one of the greatest beauties in all the history of China. I believe, if I'm remembering correctly, she was lived in the fourth century. Um, her name was Yang Guifei. And she, as I said, was one of the most famous Chinese beauties of all time. And she was renowned for eating tremella every single day and accredited her beauty to her consumption of tremella mushroom. Now, this has been very much supported, as I say, in the modern research in terms of the hyaluronic acid production. Uh, it's also shown to uh, speed the healing of burn wounds and help lighten the skin, help with um, overpigmentation and things of that nature. But it also goes beyond uh, just surface level beauty. Um, and of course, those of you who have been on this health path will really understand that surface level beauty comes as a result of inner beauty, healthy uh, in inner biology, healthy organ systems on the inside. Um, and even one might go, you know, naturally a step further and say from a healthy mindset that plays an essential role as well. And with Tremella, it's also doing a lot of inner work. So traditionally, it's said to nourish the lungs, the heart, the kidneys, the brain, and the stomach. So it's really helping to rehydrate and replenish fluids throughout the entire system. And you can look at something like, as I said, it works in the lungs and in uh, the traditional Chinese medicine system and in the Taoist herbal approach, they will tell you that the health of the lungs is reflected in the health of the skin. And then when you look at like it working on the brain, uh, that's going to help you with, you know, better mental function. I mean, your brain's healthier. You got a healthier mindset. You're going to be smiling more. You're going to be looking more beautiful. Uh, so it's just working in, in so many ways. It's, as I said, it's working on the stomach. Well, then that helps the gut microbiome. Your gut microbiome is healthier. Everything thrives. So this is working on so many levels, which is what makes it really interesting. And to go in a different direction, uh, it was shown in a four-week study on rats to significantly lower LDL, which is the kind of the bad cholesterol. So that's pretty amazing. And then the polysaccharides found in Tremella have been shown to protect against 
damage induced by radiation. And in today's modern world, whether we're flying a lot and getting exposed to a lot of radiation in that way, or just being around all of our electronics and, and Wi-Fi and cell phones and coming 5G and all this kind of stuff, having a little extra protection from radiation is probably a pretty good idea. Um, and then jumping back to, to brain health and cognitive health, um, this is not just something that was, you know, said, said to do in the traditional sense and not supported by modern research, it is actually found to enhance neurite growth. So this is for your brain, for cognitive function, uh, for the whole nervous system. This is fantastic. You know, we talk about this often with another one of our favorite mushrooms, uh, lion's mane, but lion's mane clearly is not the only one working in that area. So tremella from beauty to gut to brains to cholesterol, it's doing a lot for you. And flavor-wise, it's almost flavorless. It really helps to cream things up, so it's a great one uh, to, to blend into drinks. You can add it to soups. You can. Um, we love making ice creams with it. It adds a great uh, texture there. You could add it to almost anything. You could add it to oatmeal is a really nice thing uh, to mix in there. So. Definitely, if you haven't tried Tremella before, give it a try. If you have tried it, if it's something you use regularly, let us know in the comments. I'd love to hear what your experience has been. Thanks so much for joining me today, guys. Wishing you a beautiful day and hope to see you again soon.